I have probably taken myself the least seriously this year, and it was the time where the most people took me the most seriously. <laughs> summarize a decade but I I don't really know how to explain the decision to keep going there was no question to me that that was what I wanted to do and what I felt it's just what I always came back to because it's what gave me so much I guess on one hand you could say like well I've dealt with the worst case scenario so that like fear of the looming question of like what's the worst that could happen like I have experience and so I do feel less less afraid of that sometimes but then there's also the fear that like what if the worst case scenario happens again and a lot of people could even question if like what happened with Friday is a worst case scenario Ten years ago, we all said things that we wouldn't agree with now. And whether that's like a cultural progression or not, it's just our own personal development. I could either just not do anything or I could make a decision that I believe in. And as long as I believe in it, then if other people disagree, I will survive. Back in high school, I was able to take a darkroom black and white course when I was like 15 years old in sophomore year and just immediately fell in love with it. Then when I was in art school for college, that's when I like really embraced color. When you get in that state, that like flow state or whatever you want to call it, it's, it's really special. And I think once you find that, like that's this is the sign that you should keep going with it. I moved to LA seven years ago and I came here with the intent to hit the ground running, forging a career in photography for myself. Well, I recognize how important it was for me to create from what I had and what I knew and not look outside of myself. What I had was an abundance of clothes I had been thrifting and tchotchkes and what have you. And what I knew was like people and character and persona. It just kind of like snowballed from there. And I made this series of 100 character-based portraits called Icons, which really like set my career going. There is like a level of like acceptability and curation that doesn't really matter anymore. Um, and I, I think while that creates some risk, I also think that it's allowed for a lot of a lot of really unique and maybe what would have been like previously neglected talent to be at the forefront. What I think is so amazing about Rebecca's story is the fact that she had like this explosion of fame when she was so young and that now she's regarded as like a musical artist who's grown up and grown so far past that. It's a cool footnote in her story, but it's not the story anymore. You're just simply not ready to present yourself as like a definable concept <laughs> to other people. And with something like the internet, all we perceive people to be is this like one specific thing or brand or concept that is digestible to ourselves, whether that's like something that is embarrassing or cringy or inspirational or something to aspire to be, like we are always making those super quick judgments on people as we scroll through our feeds or our screens really, really quickly. I do a lot of my casting on Instagram because I'm able to kind of like get a sense for who a person is. And from that, we can kind of like bounce off into creating a new character. I love a person who doesn't take themselves too seriously and who can like, again, be playful. I have probably taken myself the least seriously this year and it was the time where the most people took me the most seriously. <laughs> um, and that has allowed for so much freedom and has allowed me to see this as something that I could do forever because I've really found so much 
joy and passion in what I did. And I thought for so long that like I could not have any of that. Watching the reaction to my last project, Rebecca Black Was Here, really fueled so much inspiration for this new project. Uh, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to finally get to tour Europe this year and bring like the live show that I've been dreaming of my entire life to, to life. I think for a long time, as a child growing up and like especially with the experience I had, I really, the, the self doubt that I had in myself and even further than that, like I really do think I had a belief in myself after my experience that I, that I couldn't do it. And like the, it was, it was a, it was more than just imposter syndrome. Like I really did not believe that I, I had a right to continue on, but for some reason I did and I think um, I feel really differently now. And that is like a big personal success that I feel like everybody deserves in their own right. The internet landscape is always changing. Like what performs the best is what grabs attention right off the bat. Like you need that millisecond attention grab. But like once you have that attention, what are you gonna do with it? That's the opportunity to actually deliver a message. I, I really don't believe in the kind of culture that like allows kids to feel like they are cringy for like having belief in themselves or that they actually believe that they can do something because like that is the essence of kids that adults need to have. <laughs> and if maybe more adults had that, I think we would live in a much happier culture. Should we tell them a little bit about what we're doing? Yes, so Me? Yeah. Okay, so um, we are making a, a demon stripper. We have nails, we have toes. Yes, we have toes. We have pleasers, we have wig, we have the most insane look. So I'm just ready to see it all. With like crazy long nails and long hair and latex. And yeah, it's gonna be stunning. Where there is, where there is a, a me and a Parker, I feel like there is, yes, latex and lube. Lube is a huge part of my, <laughs> my set kit. <laughs> but also the boobies. This feels so great. <laughs> they say dumb bitch. In what world, in what world does dumb bitch have to be an insult? Exactly. I feel very proud to claim myself as a dumb bitch. And I also think that I, I, that doesn't make me feel any worse about myself. I feel quite proud. Hell yeah. <laughs>